Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video and I'm going to be using the KN44 in today's Legendary Ranked. And obviously, if you guys know that, you know, like I said, Legendary Ranked has been reset, so I'm not Legendary right now. I'm currently Master 1. Well, actually, actually right as of right now, I'm currently Master 3, I'm assuming. Um, but anyways, yeah, so... Um, as you guys may know, the KN44 received an amazing buff. It received, you know, a second buff in the Season 7, so obviously it was buffed in Season 6, and then it was buffed again in Season 7, making it an all-around very competitive assault rifle. I also covered this in my uh, top 10 best loadouts for Season 7, uh, if you watched that video when I uploaded it two days ago. So, overall, a really fantastic assault rifle, nonetheless. Um, it definitely does the job. It's definitely a really fun assault rifle to use. It definitely takes us back to the 2019 meta uh, during Call of Duty Mobile, when, like, the Cordite and the Can 44 was released around the exact same time during, like, you know, that cowboy seasonist, uh, seasonistic, um, you know, or I guess you can say season, that cowboy season. I don't know why I'm tripping up with my words. But anyway, so I wanted to also talk about the season and give you guys my thoughts on it so far. Um, obviously, you know, legendary. I mean, obviously with the rank queue system right now, I mean, obviously if you guys are playing solos, I don't know how about you guys right now, but currently me, um, you know, I'm having a tough time solo queuing, man. I don't know what it is, but... Um, or even playing in parties even it's like you know people are just not like there's just a lot of people in this game that really are just doing bad i don't know why and they're like obviously veteran season players so it's like you know i can drop like a 40 kill gameplay in which you'll see here and like you know you can still lose and stuff like that so it's just very interesting to see how so far the evolution of ranked is and we've had the same rank system in call of duty mobile for a very long time um, it's literally like we've only introduced one more tier into it after like what three years of the same rank basically so it's like what you you get rid of you go from master to grandmaster and then to legendary but it doesn't even it doesn't even solve the you know the issue in general because it's like okay the more you play you know eventually you're gonna get there it's not like the legendary players that are in legendary are like the top performing players in the game it's more of just like well okay you know um, it's just more like well uh you know you're gonna get players who are not you know really good mechanically that are gonna end up in legendary and they're gonna do bad anyway so i think call of duty mobile should finally look into next season because obviously uh, if you're gonna look at next year's cod right cod modern warfare 2 it's gonna be a two-year game so if realistically if we think about it if call of duty mobile can somehow implement the cdl playlist the cdl rank system in Call of Duty Mobile, it would actually be fin fantastic, and I think they sh finally should. I think we should move away from the 150 hard points. Um, we should start. They should start adding in 250 hard points. Like that is that is the dire need. We need control in the you know in rank. Like we need a lot of things. So I mean, obviously the one thing that we also need is we need SND to you know alternately change every round. So if Call of Duty Mobile can add a restricted CDL playlist inside of Call of Duty Mobile. Um, I think hopefully for the next, you know, rank season or maybe when the next COD releases, hopefully, uh, the game's going to be in really good shape. The game's not going to be boring. You're not going to deal with a lot of dumb things because I, I think right now, even though this season, um, is a nice refresher, like, dude, thank God the CBR4 has been nerfed. Thank God the MAC-10 has been nerfed. So obviously, you know, some of the guns that were, you know, number one for a very long time are not going to be number one, but it's like, okay, you know, now, you know, even though that those guns were nerfed, the most annoying guns in the game were nerfed, but, like, you're, we're still dealing with the same boring stuff, like, the thermites, the dogs, like, just unnecessary utility that's coming into play within the game, and I think if Call of Duty Mobile can add a different type of playlist, a different type of rank system on top of what they have already, um, or, you know, like I said, change it, um, even, you know, restrict it in some ways, because, I think when you're playing ranked, like I said, like you're just grinding for that rank, but then after that, it's just elo based. You're just accumulating elo over and over again, basically the whole month, and you have to wait, what? We have to wait 30 days just to do that again? So I think Call of Duty Mobile really needs to step up their game when it comes to the rank system. But anyways, um, obviously that was a huge rant on that. But moving on to like, I guess like, you know, in sort of like the uh, alternate system of like, I guess ranked and things like that in terms of guns. Um, so far, I really like this season. I think honestly, what would made what would have made this the perfect season is you know nerfing the KSP 45. That SMG, in my opinion, being a burst weapon. Now, I like seeing that we have you know very unique weapons that are actually viable in this season. It, like, 
Um, obviously, you know, the KSP-45 being a burst weapon, the fact that the burst weapon comes into play this meta, but I mean, it's kind of overrated, and it's also kind of OP in a sense. I mean, it's a little bit too OP, so if they were to nerf it in some way, um, this would definitely be the perfect season. It would definitely be one of the best seasons to play in, because like I said, any gun is viable at this point. Like, obviously, you're going to have some guns that are a lot stronger, but I mean, I can go in and use, like, a different LMG. I can use, like, the PPSH. I can use the Cordite even in this meta. Like, the Cordite feels phenomenal. Um, and even the DRH, obviously, you know, I'm going to be playing with more weapons and things like that and also bringing you guys like a top five list and yada, yada, yada. But I mean, if we're talking about overall gun usage, gun variability, and in terms of like, what can we do to really bring in different types of guns into play for this season, you can actually play with a lot of different weapons, you know? So, and you can even play with nominal weapons. Another gun that I actually made a video on in the past in season six, like a, a few, a week ago was the M4, and the M4 received a damage and a range buff, I believe. It definitely a damage buff and, like, some other type of buff, and, like, that will be interesting to see. Like, I'm not people use the M4, and I made a video showing that you can actually use the M4 in some capacity. Like, if, you know, obviously, if you have a very, if you have really good aim, and you have great positioning, and obviously, you know, being an assault rifle player and having knowledge on how to use assault rifles uh, to their specific technicality, you can actually do really well in the game with it. So, I think, you know, now that we have a lot of buff non-meta weapons, because like I said, a lot of non-meta weapons were buffed. And so I think overall this season's pretty balanced. Like I said, they just got a nerf to KSP 45 next season, and I think we're pretty solid. So um, one thing that I have not seen people use in ranked, and I don't know if it's because I have not seen it myself, um, but the HVK 30, obviously, I've not ran into that. You guys got to let me know in the comments section down below what guns you guys are running into. But so far, it's a lot of Kilo. It's a lot of KN. It's a lot of Bison. Um, I would say that, I, I mean, I've played against a few CBR4s. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're, they're going to be in ranked. I mean, some people uh, really do idolize that gun and just want to keep using it. So, I mean, obviously, if you're going to use something that's nerfed, I mean, it's going to happen, right? So, um, I guess, I mean, dude, that was just an amazing two-piece. I mean, obviously, this game is just insane. Like, I'm just annihilating people with the KN44 in this gameplay. So, but I mean, overall, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys, let you know my thoughts on the season. So, so far, this season is an 8 out of 10 for me. Um, if I were to give it a, you know, rating on a scale of 1 to 10, I mean, I would definitely give it an 8 out of 10. Um, like I said, you know, I think, um, you know, with the balance changes coming in, Call of Duty Mobile has definitely found a nice, you know, sweet spot. Uh, for sure on like the guns and everything and so far on how the balances you know changes have been sort of getting kicked in every single month so i think call of duty mobile has done a phenomenal job there and i think like i said if they just if we get another refined rank system we get a different type of rank system added to call of duty mobile that adds more restrictions makes it more competitive um the game's going to be in very good shape for another good you know solid like you know three to five years i mean i don't know how long like i said you know we we also have to keep in mind like warzone mobile's coming out soon like within a year or two or three years so it's like i don't know how long really realistically people are going to play call of duty mobile for like it's going to get way too repetitive they're going to start adding guns that are going to be more pay to win so it's like right now the direction of call of duty mobile is just stagnant they're just moving in a straight line um it's just a horizontal straight line they're not doing anything creative but i mean obviously i gotta tip it to them you know so um they they are doing a decent job uh, regardless of that but anyways like um like I said, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying Season 7. Let me know, you know, what your guys' thoughts on Season 7 so far. I mean, it's definitely one of the different seasons for Call of Duty Mobile. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things where you just got to keep playing it. Hopefully, you know, I'll let you guys know my full thoughts on it by the time, you know, I get to Legendary and things like that. And so, um, yeah, but other than that, honestly, guys, make sure to show some KN44 uh, love in, you know, like I said, the game. But definitely make sure to use this weapon because this weapon is definitely very good. Um, it's 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 a very good weapon and the gunsmith build that I put up in the beginning of the video is definitely the best gunsmith build to use for it There's no other gunsmith build that I'd recommend using for it um, Realistically, I mean obviously you can customize, you know the barrel maybe the stock uh, But other than that, you know, you can kind of take it into its full technicality. and It's very, you know, it's usability and like its versatility because it's a very versatile gun you can kind of convert it into an smg almost and you can do a lot of things with it so it's that's definitely a win-win uh, assault rifle in most cases and with the buffs it just makes it a very awesome assault rifle to use and um obviously you know this like i said this game i dropped like what 42 kills 46 kills in this game oh my god i i still can't believe it i lost this game like i slayed out so hard to the point where it's like god 
Dang it. I mean, obviously, you know, we lost, unfortunately, 141, 150. This game was really close, but obviously, you know, I slayed out. So honestly, in my book, it was a dub anyways. But I wanted to bring you guys this gameplay because it was literally a huge slay of a gameplay to not show you guys what you guys can do with this weapon. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comment section down below what your guys' thoughts are on the new season, the KN44. If you guys got to give it a try, let me know your thoughts on the gunsmith build that I recommended. Or let definitely let me know in the comment section down below what gunsmith builds you guys are rocking with in season seven and if you guys are new to the channel and you made it this far to the video and if you enjoyed the video hated the video please make sure to subscribe it really helps out the channel a lot i really appreciate the support we're literally so close to 7,000 subscribers so let's go ahead and get to it and uh without further ado guys i'll see you guys uh, in the next one peace